so it's the 15th of November. I am at our new house. I'm currently the only one home. I feel like part of the reason that I've been feeling, I'm just looking to make a cup of tea. Part of the reason I've been feeling a bit off with these videos, or maybe not why, but I just feel like I really need to get some personal space. Um, Steve is super easy to live with. But I also feel like just having my room where I can just do absolutely, like just retreat and have, just for me, like I'm an introvert, I need to, to recharge by myself. I haven't used this kettle before. Shouldn't be too hard, should it? Um, and I just haven't got my office or anything set up yet um, and haven't got a desk here and we haven't got internet here which does make it very good for, um, is there water in there? Which makes it very good for procrastination and stuff because I can't. Um, even my phone, the internet on my phone's shocking. I'm probably gonna have to get something done about that since I have an online business and um, kinda need the internet for, even just for my phone. We're definitely getting it for, um, for the house but I really do need it for my phone as well and I don't get very good phone reception like we're not that far away from where we were living with Steve's parents but yeah it's just like a lot bushier here so that's probably why I'm just putting the kettle in there you go so yeah we've got most of the furniture in now have a table we have couches um, I'm just putting some clothes washing on so yeah that's um, yeah it was very bright in here the natural lighting in here is so nice <gasps> I'm so happy about that and the off the room that I wanted to have for my office isn't doesn't have great natural li lighting so I think I'm gonna have a room that hasn't got as nice a view because it looks out at the water tank, but I'm gonna be filming things. It's just so much easier if I can be in a place with really good lighting. So yeah, yesterday was a moving day and today is basically an unpacking day. Steve's never moved before um, and neither has his twin, twin, is that weird? twin Chris and last night they're like oh, I finally get it why people are so frustrated when they move and they'd sort of always thought that people were just whinging needlessly um, when when they were moving because they've always been like asked to help people move because they're quite strong and just they work well as a team and all of that so they always get asked to help but they were saying last night that they get asked to help to move the big things and then they can just leave and go home but it's finding all finding a place for all the little things that's the hardest part and that's what I'm focusing on today now that we've got furniture and that kind of thing I also need to do a food shop um, I'm gonna do my own food stuff separately because Steve and Chris eat very similar and eat like double the amount of food that I do and I just want to meal prep really healthy food and I'm happy to eat chicken <laughs> as my protein and eggs whereas they want to eat red meat and yeah so we're just going to give it a try separately and see how it goes yeah so that's basically all that I'm doing today and then I'm going to work later I also want to go to Kmart to buy like little things like a bin. I wanna buy some coat hangers for Steve's half of the wardrobe so that I can make it super pretty. Um, what else did I wanna buy? Oh, Steve needs a laundry basket. Just like things like that, but um, we haven't really had to buy much at all. Like most of this furniture, or the couches Steve bought. Oh, we have these chickens as well. I can just see them through here. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. They're just out there. Oh, you probably can't. That white, that's the chicken. Because the neighbours, we did a walk of the perimeter yesterday and the neighbours have chickens, but the fence is broken in a little bit. So 
we get their chickens, which I'm fine with that. <laughs> I wouldn't personally really want chickens, even though they can lay eggs. I'm just not a bird person, really. But, I mean, that'd be fine. Oh, my tea's ready. So, yeah, that's basically everything, as I have been saying. I haven't been doing much personal growth stuff, though I feel like with moving house. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> with moving house you really do just have to manage your mind I have to manage my mind a lot and just make sure that I am I don't know like I have I want things a certain way and so does everyone else they want things a certain way their way so just sort of you know being okay with that and <laughs> There haven't been any issues at all, but I feel like I just need to manage my mind a bit around it. And um, there's a podcast episode from Brooke Castillo that really helps with that, which is, it's called The Manual. I think it's episode 11. Also, I realize that I know, like, Brooke Castillo, oh, I look so red. I just washed my face. Oh. Um, I've been to the gym this morning as well, Lestess master so that's probably why as well I look a bit red but um episode 11 of her podcast which is called the money oh what I was gonna say <laughs> oh my god I'm all over the place this morning what I was gonna say is that um I know her podcast episode numbers better than I know my own ones on a new podcast episode came out as well on budgeting in your 20s so I'll link that below but um, she has an episode, it's episode 11, it's called The Manual, and it's just about how we have a manual in our mind for how we think other people should act, um, and what they should say, and what they should do with their own lives, and it's unspoken most of the time, and then we, so how we have this manual for how we think everyone else should behave, and then we get really upset um, and frustrated when people aren't following that manual even though we've never told them what our manual is and more importantly they don't have to live by our manual of what we think they should do and they have their own one um, for everything as well and just to sort of let go of I, I just think you know I have a manual of how I think everyone else should live in this house and that's not going to be reality and if I just am constantly focused on how everyone should be living yeah I don't know but really there haven't been any issues whatsoever but I'm just like really making sure that I really enjoy the process also I think I was saying about the curtains there are these beigey ones and I think these are the the white ones I'm gonna have in my office but I still can't decide wow I just look so red I still haven't decided if I like the beige or if I like the white I bought four of the beige pairs from Ikea because they were out of the white one that's a different kind of curtain that's a thinner one uh, that'll brighten my office but this one they were out of the white ones and so I bought four of the beige ones and then I'm like I know it's just so hard to know and they won't be in stock until this weekend so I don't know mm. but anyway so yeah today I'm just really gonna do my best to get everything put away in a place um, and yeah everything's just a bit of a mess at the moment these are the couches Steve god they're so comfy and the people that sold them to us from Gumtree had only used bought them like three months ago and had only used them a few times apparently but um they don't look used at all they're super comfy he got them for like a quarter of the price that she paid three months ago for like 500 and something 570 or something for these so yeah we're in the new house it's really exciting to just be here and I think I'm going to be working from the kitchen table while we um, while we get the internet set up and I hope the internet connection is good 
or I'm going to have to do a lot of working from cafes and stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the owner said. Apparently it had been good internet here. Anyway, I feel like this is the most boring vlog. But this is just my life at the moment. And yeah, got to put my washing up. Going to have some tea. Going to listen to... I don't know if I should listen to a podcast episode. I'm trying to get myself... A little break from, from, can't speak, from blogging stuff the next few days. So if I should listen to a business one, which I really want to listen to, or if I should watch Kardashians in the background. But I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it here. I might talk to you later. I might not. I'm not sure yet. It's quarter past nine. I've been to the gym, as I said. And I'm just gonna do my best. I think I'm gonna give myself two hours to pack everything away and then go to Kmart and do some food shopping. So, yeah, hope you're well. I'll chat to you soon. Bye.